love my hair right now. It's so beautiful and we just did a wash and go. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use the Do Most Def styling foam for a wash and go. I've used this for my hair and I've liked it and I wanted to see if it did well with Maya's hair. Her hair repels water and so shortly after washing it's already starting to look a little bit drier and so I'm going to be making sure to spray water before I add the product and also because my hair is so dense and thick I like to make sure that I'm always working in sections. Here I am making like four or five different parts that I'm sectioning off and then even after I have that one section I'm working in even smaller sections so that I can spray water and clump the curls as well as I can before adding the product. So I have not done a wash and go on Maya's hair in at least two years. If you have kids, you know that they're always running around and, you know, like climbing around and rolling on the ground. And so I've been doing lots of twists and braids and styles that are easy to upkeep throughout the whole week. Since she has been in swimming class this summer and she gets her hair wet and I wash it more often, I decided I want to try wash and go because she's been, she's been requesting it, really. And her hair isn't absorbing as much of the water as I'd like. But I know from experience that you kind of have to train your hair for a wash and go, if that makes sense. The more that you do it each time, your hair will kind of absorb a little bit more and more of the water. And I'm decently happy with how this is looking so far. All of this foam will dry and I decided to go with the foam instead of the gel that I really like because I know that foam dries faster and it's about 6.30 p.m almost seven o'clock in this video and so I want to make sure that her hair is a hundred percent dry before going to bed. I've also learned from personal experience that how you apply the products really makes a big difference not just the products that you're using and so I'm making sure to really work the foam into her hair. The way that it looks before it's dried is going to be how it looks if not a little bit poofier and not as defined after it's dry and so I'm trying to define her curls as much as I can by working the product oh, into her hair and here is how it looks after I'm all like done straight, but it's, it's, not, it's like down but it's not as, as poofy Now I think this is one of the most important steps in doing a wash and go with kids hair especially. If you leave their hair to air dry, they're going to be moving around. They're definitely going to lose a decent amount of definition. And so diffusing it is so, so important. I pretty much used to always air dry my hair and once I started diffusing it, I noticed my curls were so clumped and so defined that I would end up picking it out right after the next day because or even that same day because I wanted a little bit more volume in my look and so with Maya because we're really trying to focus on definition I'm going to make sure that her hair is a hundred percent dry before she hits the bed tonight. I love my hair. Can I see the back? So overall, I'm pretty happy with how her wash and go turned out, especially considering we did all of this in less than 45 minutes or so, including all of the drying. But I do think I prefer the gel, but she loves it and so I love it. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back with another video next week.